this week in podcasts that we're not doing this week. <laughs> Jesus doesn't think you're a freak, or if he does, he thinks you're a freak in a good way. Trust me, you two, I know what normal time is. Hey, you guys, this is Emily with Plugged In, and today I'm going to show you how to set up parental controls for Hulu. Go on over to Hulu and sign in to your account, and I'll get started by showing you how to create a profile. To do this, go to the top right corner and hover over your profile picture and click Manage Profiles. Then click Add Profile. So go ahead and give your profile a name, and then you're going to want to decide whether or not to turn on the kids' profile. This is one of only two parental control options that are available on Hulu. If you choose to turn the kids' profile on, then it's only going to show that profile titles that are rated PG, TV PG, and below. If you don't choose to turn it on, then it's going to show you everything Hulu has to offer, including R-rated films and TVMA-rated shows. I cannot stress this enough. There are no other parental control options except for that kid's profile. If you decide you don't want to turn the kid's profile on, you're going to be required to enter a birth date and select a gender. It will not let you continue until you've done both of these things. And if the birth date indicates that the user is under the age of 18, it will also make you check this box saying you have parental permission to create this profile. Obviously, there's no way to actually verify whether or not you have parental permission, so it's kind of a useless button. When you're done, click Create Profile. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a PIN for your account. If you created a kid's profile in the previous step and you don't already have a PIN set in place, it might have prompted you to create a PIN. If you did that, great. If not, then what you're going to want to do is go back to the top right corner hover over your profile picture, and click Manage Profiles again. From here, you're going to want to toggle on Pin Protection underneath Parental Controls. Enter a four-digit pin and then click Create Pin. What this will do is prevent you from leaving the kid's profile and entering a non-kid profile without entering that pin first. It will also prevent the creation of additional profiles without entering the pin. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to change your password. If you're in the Manage Your Account section, you can just click on Overview. If not, go back, hover over your profile picture, and click on Account. From here, just click Change Password, and then follow all of the verification steps it requires in order to change your password. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to log out of devices. Uh, it could be all of the devices, or maybe just some of them, in order to limit access. If you're still in that Manage Your Account thing, then you're good to go, but if not, top right corner, click on account. From here, scroll down and you can click on manage devices. And then you just click remove on any device that you don't recognize, you don't trust, or you just don't want to have access. Another option, if you don't feel like figuring out which device is what, you could also click on log out of all devices and then just click it again to confirm. And that's all I have for today. See you next time.